Welcome to lesson number 3.2. We'll go over several set modifier related challenges in this lesson. So first, let's go over each challenge definition, and then together we will identify various components of set analysis syntax for each challenge. Once we perform that analysis, I encourage you to create solution on your own without any assistance from me, or at least give your best try to see if you understand set modifier concept properly. Otherwise, in the following lesson, I'll go over solution so that you understand how we can create solution for each of these challenges. Okay, so let's get started. Challenge number one states that users are interested in total sales for just the produce category and also count total number of customers. Create a pivot table that shows produce sales for each year. In addition, make sure that total sales reflects current selection values. All right, so before we dive into solution, let's identify various components of this self analysis syntax that we're about to create. So we'll begin with set identifier. So what set identifier shall we use? Well, if you read at the very bottom of the challenge, it states that in addition, make sure that total sales reflects current selection values, meaning you should allow users to make selections and the total sales should reflect those selections that users make. So in this case, the requirement states that you should use default or dollar identifier. As we discussed in the prior lesson, dollar is the default state. Default meaning the state in which ClickView document operates. So by default, users can make selections and those selections get reflected in the aggregation. All right, so now let's identify set modifier. Well, the modifier for this particular challenge will be produced as category. As you read on line two, it says total sales just or the produce category, meaning we are going to hard code produce as a category name and the total sales will be calculated just for that particular category. So as you know, set modifier begins with angle bracket and ends with angle bracket. Within the angle brackets, on the left hand side, you have field name. In this case, it's category name equal, which is an assignment operator. And on the right hand side, you have produce as hard coded value. So essentially from the entire data set, we're selecting produce as a value from the category name field and assigning it to it. So it's akin to a user selecting produce from category name field. If you visualize how this selection will work. Okay, now let's identify dimension and measure for this particular expression that we're about to create. Well, of course, the dimension is going to be category name and year, and measure will be line sales amount. Since it says that you need to create a pivot table that shows produce sales for each year. That's a clue that you need year as dimension in addition to category name. And of course, line sales amount is your measure because you're aggregating line sales amount as your total sales. And we'll of course add filters so that users can make selections as it states in the challenge. So this is challenge number one. Let's go over challenge number two. Well, challenge number two states that postal code or zip code 98033 is considered as a local area and management expects good business from this area. Users are interested in total sales for this particular postal code. You're required to create a bar chart that shows total sales for each year. In addition, make sure that total sales ignores current selection value. So if we have to figure out what will be the set identifier, well, the clue is in the very last statement where it states, in addition, make sure that the total sales ignores current selection value. 
meaning the identifier has to be one. As we learned in the prior lesson, when you want to ignore user selections, you would choose one as that identifier. In this case, any user selections will be ignored within this particular expression that we're about to create. Set modifier, again, as the challenge states that this cells has to be for a particular zip code, in this case, 98033. So within the angle bracket, which is required, of course, for a set modifier. On the left-hand side, we have the field name, which is postal code. And on the right-hand side, within a single code, we have zip code. And it's hard-coded value since we want to calculate total sales just for this postal code. Now, what are the dimensions and measures? In this case, of course, we want to construct a bar chart for each year. So year is dimension and line sales amount is measure. And of course, we'll add several filters so that users can make selections. But then again, since set identifier is one, those user selections should be ignored within this expression, meaning values within the chart will not change even you if user makes selections in any of these filters that we will add. So these are the challenges. I highly encourage you to work on your own first, at least give your best try to create solution. If not, then I'll go over solutions in the next lesson. Thank you for watching.